everybody it's Haley. today i want to show you how to prepare digital escape rooms using genially you first want to create an account with genially it's very easy to create an account the next thing you do is you click create genially right after you have an account and you choose gamification then you scroll down and you choose breakout rooms and just to show you what this could look like, we're going to look at the um, this template, the Escape Game Education. I'm going to click and show you what it looks like. It basically, this is a um, school breakout room. Students click Start. They have an introduction page. And here, there are a few items. They need to click Complete a few tasks. And then they get a code at the end. So after completing this uh, task is a uh, math task, they see congratulations and it says remembers the results of the operation for later. So it seems like this is the operation. So they just need to remember the number seven and they keep the number seven. This is not something you want to touch. Just leave it as is. So if they get to the code, that just means that they succeeded. They answered all the questions correctly. So they've manage to finish this side uh, this part of the task when they're done they go back from here and they get to number two here they have uh, they have to look at the books and they have to click the question mark here students need to answer a few questions when they finish they get this exercise here and then they, um, they basically need to um, get a new code. When they finish answering those questions, they will get a math exercise here. They need to recall and write down the answer. Then they go ahead and they complete another exercise. Going back from here, they go to number three. Number three has a quick question about time uh, after they uh, click the correct answer they click and it says it's time to go to the physical education class take the key to the gym and so they click X they click on the key and they get to the gym here they have a few questions now you can see that the answer is this one it's a serious and as they answer questions um, they proceed, they continue until basically they get another code when they're done. And so each section brings the students to some exercises in the form of a story. And then they go to the final mission. They need to insert the code. As they insert the final code, it will say that they have escaped. If we like this template, we can use it. Let's click use this template. That's it. And you will be directed to this page. So all you need to do is customize this uh, escape room template to match your own material and to a new story that you'll create. So the first thing you want to do is change the title and write perhaps something like um, or something like um, save the students so you want to do something related to your topic perhaps change it a little save the students escape room that's it and uh, you're ready to go here you want to in the introduction you want to write your own story so perhaps you can write something like you have arrived to school today and found that all the students and the teachers are missing. So you want to give your story something that will actually give um, meaning to everything you do in the escape room. So make up a story for students to have. And next thing you want to um, perhaps adjust the names of the characters. For example, Mrs. Um, Mrs. Danielle the um the english teacher for example 
in here maybe you want to write uh, the principal the principal etc and of course you can also change the photos so as you click on the photo you can click replace and then you will be directed to many different sites that give genially pictures um, so perhaps you want to click unsplash and then something like write something like a boy <clears throat> <clears throat> and perhaps you can choose this photo, click replace, and the picture will be replaced. <clears throat> you can write Dan from grade 5. And that's how you adjust the characters of your story. You go back and um, you click preview. Preview is just to see what it looks like. For the, the first time it will ask you to give it a name escape room school click save then you will see the preview of what it looks like so we see that it looks pretty good you can also see some information about each character which you can also adjust so I'm going to click on edit as I click on this you have here this little mark <clears throat> this will give you some animation so you can choose to have them bounce um, you can <clears throat> choose to click continuous and have it like this pulse which gives it a nice effect and then you can click here for the information and you can change the information you can write something like um, this this English teacher disappeared uh, uh, on Sunday morning blah 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 and so when students hover with their mouse over the uh, the picture, they'll be able to see what you wrote about this character. So it looks really like an escape room. So here you change the name, here you replace the photo, here you change two different effects. You can make it bounce, click continuous. Continuous is what you see during the presentation and not just at the entrance, not just at the beginning, but continuously. You can change it to pulse, to flicker, to heartbeat, and you have different effects. And here you write information and this information will show as people hover over the image. I'm going to go to the next slide. This slide is all about the questions. So we have the first question. The first question is what is missing to complete the operation? Now we know that the answer is 14, so we know to put the correct answer here. And so we can change it to any question we like that relates to our material. For example, my is barking. And then I'm able to put here something like cow. And of course I can make this smaller. This is the place to adjust the, um, the font, the size of the font. And here I can write something like um, cat and also make it smaller. And here on 14 I can write some, I can write the correct answer which is dog. And then I know that it's going to work well because this is the correct answer. You always want to look at the correct answer and make sure that you put the correct answer for your new riddle in the correct place. So if I click on preview, I'll be able to see what it looks like. My mm is barking, then I'm going to click dog, and I know I got it right. It looks good. I'm going to do the same thing with this question and this question. Um, so basically just remember where the correct answer is. Right now it's minus, so I know to put the correct answer here. And here are other answers that are incorrect. Let's do another riddle. My is Healy. And so I know that here in the minus I'm going to put the word name. I'll adjust the font to make it smaller and here I'm going to put um, other things that are incorrect. House 
or maybe a garden. And here I can write school. And of course you want to use vocabulary that you taught the students. Different vocabulary from the same unit. About these, you can actually delete these or leave them empty. They don't really have any meaning if you're not writing anything on it. But of course you can write things on it. You can write other riddles here. You can write things that relate to the question. I'm going to click the I again and see the preview. And then I'm going to click name and I got it right. So in this section, I want to change the names of the books to something else. So I wrote, for instance, dogs, cats, horses. Of course, I can change here to maybe cows or anything at all. And then I go to the next slide and I actually ask a question about it. For example, how many books about animals are there on the shelf? And then um, I can uh, write it here as well. It doesn't really matter. The only thing I need to remember is what is the correct answer. I need to make sure that I know the answer is three. And I know that this is the correct answer because there were three green books. So I can write, um, I can leave it four because I wrote right now, I wrote four books about animals. Here I'm going to write seven, here I'm going to write one, and I'm going to click preview to see what it looks like. Good. So students have to continue. You have to actually change more questions, change them here, and then students get to this and they get a, di a final answer. Then the answer is nine, then they have to write the number nine. Here, they needed to write the number seven because they had this exercise. The result is seven. 14 minus seven is seven. And here they have 12 because three times four is 12 minus three, that's nine. The answer is nine. So if they have gotten to this page, that means they succeeded. They answered all the questions correctly, the questions that you wrote for them. And here they write the answer nine. We're going to go to the next one. So basically now we finish the first one. So we finish this and this. Now we have this one. It's really the same thing. All you need to do is look at the correct answers and change your questions. So I'm going back to edit. I'm going back to this one here. And let's say I can change even the question here I can replace the image and ask another question because here I can replace the image here I can write a different question here I can change it to different things I can even add pictures and have them click on the correct picture anything at all this I can leave because remember that as we click on the question mark there's a pop-up and it says um, it's time to go to the physical education class take the key to the gym so here we can say um, we can say this we can leave it the same thing because then they are being directed to this the physical education hall and then basically you can just change it to different questions you have to think about your own material and what you want to ask but you always make a note of the correct answer because you need to place the correct answer in the correct place in order for this to work so the answer here is this ball. So you want to put the correct answer here. Let's do one example. I can delete all of these and just leave the question here. Click. On the black and white ball. And then they have to click on this preview. It looks like this. Click on the black and white ball. They click and they're being directed to the next question. Eventually they will succeed and they will get to this page and it says the number achieved in this mission is number zero. So we had seven, nine, and now we have zero. The number for the very last task is number five. 
The last task looks like this. Turn on the projector. Students turn the projector on. And um, they see, they watch a video and they respond. They have questions about the video. So you can really engage them with some listening exercises, a viewing of videos, some reading, etc. Of course, you'll need to adjust the questions the way I showed you. Eventually, it's number five. They go back and basically we went over this, 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 the gym hall, this is the projector, and we have a final mission. Students need to click on final mission and type in the final code. So the final code, which is a combination of the four tasks, is 77905. It says press OK. Students click OK and they, uh, they see congratulations and that they've succeeded, they have escaped. So here what you want to do is you want to say something related to your story, the story that you gave them about, let's say, all the students and the teacher disappeared from the school. So here you want to write something, you saved everybody, and maybe you want to say something more about what happened and give them some background story. So the way to do this is to go to the final uh, slide and write something like, you did it, you saved everyone. Um, anything you want, you can move this, place this here, and, um, and you're basically done. So how do you send this to students? Once you're done, your escape room is ready, you click All Set. Then you give it a name, you have a name already, and you click All Set. Then you're going to click Share. And what I recommend is not copying this one, but copying the code from here. If you copy the link from here, you'll get a code to a page that looks like this. with many, many different things below. In order to get a code that is exactly uh, only this escape room, the in a way that is not confusing for students, you actually click the embed code, insert. You click insert and you look up the URL address from here. It's the one that starts with HTTP, HTTP, and then you can see the whole address here. You right click, copy. Look at the difference. You paste and students are being directed to the room. There are no ads below, no notes or anything. So it's very, very clear what they need to do. All right, that's it, that's the room. And um, I hope you and your students will enjoy it. I wish you all the best. You can keep in touch with me and have fun. Bye-bye.